Campaign unlocks for multiplayer are currently bugged right now, but 3v3 provides a fix and also when we can expect a patch to happen. That and a lot more, so stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going Halo fans? Kevin here once again giving you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. Currently there is a big issue with multiplayer unlocks not triggering within the campaign of Halo Infinite. 343 responds to this issue as well as provides known issues with this game as well. But when can we really expect these fixes to come in? It might not actually take that long. So if you guys like these news and informational kind of videos, make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. If you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo Infinite, well, make sure you tap subscribe. So let's get right into the content here. Now, many people have been experiencing this issue, myself included, that being that the unlocks are not working. Now, there seems to be a specific thing that's going on and 343 has nailed it down, saying when playing Halo Infinite's campaign offline or using quick resume, Unlocks obtained via Mjolnir armor lockers will not appear in the customization menu. The team is working on a fix that will retroactively grant those unlocks when reconnecting to the internet. To reduce the chances of encountering this before collecting armor lockers, close and relaunch the game if you have lost your internet connection or used quick resume. The upcoming fix will retroactively grant these unlocks, but this step will help ensure timely delivery. So it sounds like they pinned it down. There's a fix coming in the works. And when it does go live, I'll let you guys know on this channel for sure. Though it's very great to hear that they will be retroactively unlocked as well, because it's kind of a thing with these lockers that like once you click unlock it's supposed to work and you can't really like unlock something you've already unlocked so i'm very happy to hear that you don't have to like restart an entire new new campaign to get your unlocks there are some other known issues though that are really impeding the experience of playing campaign equipment upgrades cannot be purchased in the upgrades menu while using the linear navigation accessibility feature fast traveling while dead may cause an endless load screen saying that the workaround for this is to close Halo Infinite and reload the saved game on the main menu. Now 343 does say that this next one is very rare, but it does say that the players may be unable to progress the current mission. Things like doors not opening up as expected after dying, Players may repeatedly die when dismounting from shade turrets, which I haven't experienced, but that's crazy. If you fast travel out of Chocklock's tower before discovering the source of the distress signal, you may be unable to return. The bridge in the mission, The Road, may not extend if the player presses the bridge control button before all dialogue about it plays. Another accessibility error is saying the UI navigation may not read some collectible information when starting a mission. And those are all the known issues right now. They resolved a lot of issues as well with the update for December 8th. But with all things taken into consideration and how massive this campaign is, for those to be the issues with the campaign, kind of shows that like they did a really great job and they actually you're really helped out with the development of Halo Infinite to make this game run as well as possible. Of course, that actually year didn't allow us to have campaign co-op and some other things tied with that, but you can see how that's all the air issues, like that's all of them. For how massive the world is, for how crazy large the campaign is, that's a pretty good feat, I'll see. Especially with a game like Halo Infinite where it's never done developing as it's a game for a service and a live service model that is just gonna constantly be getting new things, new updates, new fixes and things like that. So that's how you fix the issue with the campaign multiplayer unlocks not working. There is a little roundabout work. Uh, it does sound like there's a fix coming in pretty soon here, which once it does go live, I'll let you guys know on the channel here, obviously. So if you want to stay updated with all the news happening within Halo guys, make sure to test subscribe. If you're new to the channel or missing any content from me recently, check out this place right here. I'm gonna link to all my Halo Infinite news and informational videos. Thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.